Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I shot the first new project video that I've shot in a while last night with a new camera, and man, I messed something up. I don't know if it was the resolution on the camera or, or what, but eh, the picture quality is not good, so I'm just going to go ahead and warn you about that before we get to that. I'm working on it. I'll figure it out. Pay no attention to the date at the bottom. Um, so it's going to be the, something I've got to work on a little bit. Uh, but anyway, what I did was uh, I had a project for a customer where I used several of these 8 inch spikes. Now essentially what these are is this is a, a common nail. It's 8 inches long with a 3 8 um, diameter shaft of it. Uh, but anyway, I had several of these left over after a project, and I'm like, well, what am I going to do with these? I don't want to drive them in anything. Yeah. So, I remembered a project that I made when I first started blacksmithing, which was I made a hook out of a big one of these spikes I found. Because I don't, I don't know how it worked out for you, but when I started blacksmithing, I wasn't buying steel. I was scrounging stuff. Uh, so, what we're going to do is forge a little leaf on this end, and then wrap it around and make a little hook out of the nail. So uh, let me show you what we're going to need for this project. Okay y'all, with the exception of the forge, the anvil, and the drill press, this is everything I use to make this project. Our starting material is this 8 inch spike. You can get these at any hardware store. They're not coated, or make sure they're not coated. If it has a galvanized coating, soak it overnight in vinegar before you forge it. A uh, <clears throat> pair of 3 8 bolt tongs, center punch, round punch, a uh, pound and a half ball peen and a two and a half pound straight peen. Okay, our first deed here, what we're going to do, we're going to isolate a good chunk of this material. We're going to do that by hanging it off the uh, edge of the anvil and doing half blows, half on, half off the anvil. We're going to taper this material down. So I got a good chunk there isolated. Now what I mean by isolating is when we hang this material off the edge of the anvil and then we hit it with the face of the hammer half on the anvil and half off, it tapers this part and leaves this, the end, the original diameter of the uh, steel. So we'll have our material for our leaf. Okay, we're going to continue to draw this out a little more. Then we're going to start rounding this. Of course, we round it by hitting the corners. Some fell back. Tip so I can finish rounding it. So I finish rounding this up here. Remember, while I'm hitting the top, the anvil is hitting the bottom. It's got that nice and dainty. Our leaf 
gonna go straight down on it. When we start to get our leaf form, start bringing it out to the sides. And there's our lovely little leaf. Okay, I'm taking it to the horn. gives us our nice little scroll with our leaf. Now, uh, yeah, let's straighten it. Just a bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to take the punch here and just be where our hole goes for our hook. At this point we're going to do the hook so turn it around putting this end on the forge first. Pretty good, I think. All right, we're gonna let this thing cool off and drill a hole in it. Just gonna center punch this real quick before we drill. All right. Clean up on the wire wheel now. Let's get some of that off the back. Okay, here's the finished product. Um, just slap a screw in it and uh, you can hang whatever you want to on there. Well y'all, that's it. Uh, and once again, I apologize for the picture quality. Uh, it, it's, we'll get that worked out. In, in future videos. But anyway, I hope you still got something from the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. And y'all behave yourselves. <laughs>